Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I have a small Tamu haul for you. I was watching Miss Jessica over at Paper Terrace and I've been watching her for a while. She actually was the one that first got me started into junk journaling. I did the junk journal, the Dollar Tree junk journal challenge with her and I'll try and link my book that I made for that one. That was my first junk journal that I've ever made. I have a background in scrapbooking and paper crafting but I had never made a junk journal before so she got me into doing that and I've just loved it ever since but she had shown some stuff over on her channel from Tamu and I have some other Tamu hauls as well but she found a bunch of stuff that I thought were super cute and I think some things I don't think she had all of these things, but some of them she did. So I picked up some, up some stuff from her haul on Tamu. And so I wanted to show you what I found. So I found these really cool seed packets. They're all the same. And I think there's 50 of them. And this is what they look like. They're really cute. And then I found some vintage ephemera, and it's like receipts and tickets, all kinds of stuff. Super fun. They're printed. They're not like actual, but just a whole variety of things. from all like different languages also English but oh here's like a vintage library card it's all kinds of stuff just great to use in my journals I have like actual ephemera like old event ephemera but not like as much of this stuff like if you if you don't have access to a place that sells this like antique malls or um, auctions or you know that you can actually find real authentic then this is a great option and then of course you know that I do a lot of strawberry shortcake so she had this packet that I thought was fun this will be fun to include in my journals as well. There's stickers, kind of the shape of a stamp, just that square. Kind of like strawberry labels, I guess. There's a whole bunch in here. Really fun. So that'll be fun. And then no, I think these are the stamps. Tiny little box. Oh yeah, these are the stamps. And these are strawberry stamps. Kind of look like the similar images. They're like vintage strawberry images. So those are really cute. And staying with the strawberry theme, I got this layered die so I can make strawberry background paper with it. So it's not a die, it's this template to use with Distress Ink. So it has the shape of the strawberry and then it has the top, the stem of the strawberry and then it has the little di little dots so you can use red and then you know like use your distress or regular ink there or you could use paint I suppose and like do stenciling and then green and then black and you'll have your strawberries all layered up so that was kind of cool and then I also found and she had shown this paper too I think this is a six by six 
paper collection and it's called Cherries the Cutest. But it has strawberries, cherries, raspberries, and watermelon. So this is a fun little set here. And they all kind of coordinate together or you can use them separately. These are really cute. I'll have all the links down below for these items as well. Oh, there's apples in there too. I didn't realize that. So those are really cute. Cute little set of paper. Papers. Okay, then these things, I don't think she had these, but I had these on my in my cart that I wanted to get before. So this is an envelope die and it has a little flower, two little flowers, but it cuts out the envelope part that you can fold up and then a little decorative piece there. So I'll have to do something with that soon. And then this is kind of like a specimen card. So it cuts out the paper and you can put like a clear acetate here and then like stickers or you can make it possibly make it into a shaker specimen card or something so I thought that was fun and then I found these acrylic ticket stamps let me pull it out so that you're not getting the shine of the plastic Thought these would be fun to stamp and then cut out for little tickets. Kind of a vintage stamp. Super fun. And then the last thing I got, and I know that Jessica had picked this up. It is a 12 by 12 paper collection. And it's all fruit themed. I don't remember how many pages are in here. I'm thinking like 24 maybe. So they're double sided and they're thicker than regular scrap of paper like that you buy like at Hobby Lobby or Joann's but not not as thick as a cardstock. But it's nice because it's double sided and perfect for junk journals. It doesn't, you know, it won't make your junk journals really thick. So then there's pineapple. And I've just been on a fruit theme lately. Bananas. And there's blueberries. I think there's two of each. So there must be 12 different patterns here. Oranges. Lemons. Strawberry, love that. Peaches, cherries, and water, oh, watermelon, and there's one more back here. Pomegranate, and avocado. So really fun set of paper there. Great for making summer journals. So hopefully you liked anything in this haul. If you did, go ahead and check out Timu down below. And I'll have a link. I'll have links. I'm not sure. I, this isn't this wasn't anything that I actually purchased these and I wasn't sent. So I've sent I've been sent some stuff from Timu before. And done hauls but this was just stuff I purchased because I saw it from Jessica's channel so um, but I'll try and I'll have the links and I'll see if I can get a coupon code as well so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up leave me a comment and subscribe and I'll see you again next time this is Kim with Creative Practicality bye God bless